Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. The three things that successful people do that makes them who they are. Now, you might be listening to this podcast and, well, let me tell you something. This is episode 40 in season one of the online prosperity experience and you might be thinking wait a minute why is this guy always talking about success uh, businesses that are profitable and enjoyable all of those things well let me tell you something if you'd like to learn about the habits of what successful people do you gotta emulate them you know you gotta speak success you gotta be around success you can't just turn up one day and you're successful when you haven't been working towards that so if anything i'm doing both you and myself a favor by bringing us close uh to this success by showing up every single day if you subscribe to this podcast okay because i know as a service business owner growing your own business is tough okay you're probably around people that don't even believe in what you're doing because they haven't started seeing the profits or the lamborghinis parked outside your house and each and every day you're out there calling potential clients and having them hang up in your face and you're sending out hundreds of emails without getting as much as a thank you for reaching out you know you're wasting thousands of dollars on maybe ad spend without actually generating any qualified leads that might you know really put a downer on anyone no matter how positive you might be no matter how many calls you can walk across you will still absolutely um you know need somebody in your corner who is always telling you hey there's something to look forward to because sometimes it can feel like no one wants to buy what you're selling and you know when you rely on your business to pay rent and put food on the table it can put an enormous strain on your emotions and you're terrified of having to give up on your dreams and that's the reason why i show up every single day and if you subscribe to this podcast you definitely will have somebody um you know knocking on your door and saying hey it's time for you to go after it let me tell you because at the end of the day if you don't get these constant reminders that things are actually happening out there you might actually uh start um contemplating returning to a safe nine to five job with your tail tucked between your legs um if you can't actually grow your business to be uh profitable and enjoyable so subscribe to this podcast and we will go through all those ups and downs in your life but even the constant notification that a podcast has been uploaded would definitely uh put your way towards um you know success because let me tell you something right now you're asking yourself, how can I actually grow my business and compete with the big players? And I know the biggest problem that you're facing right now as an entrepreneur, marketing is just one aspect of running a successful business. You know, when you're um, hiring new stuff that you have to, um, you know, sort of micromanage on Slack or on whatever project management tool that you have and you have to balance your books and you have to consistently drive growth to your business and so much more that deserves your attention. It feels like a constant balancing act where you're pulled from multiple directions all at once. And at the end of the day, I understand your real goal is just to help your clients. You want to spend as much time as possible changing people's lives and solving people's problems. You don't want to waste countless hours each week trying to navigate the complex um, strain of having to show up, you know, and let me do that for you. 
okay and you certainly don't want to spend yet another minute on the phone having to beg people to hire your services unfortunately you don't have to do that you know let us get you um you know that motivation that drive that you will constantly know that you've got people in your corner that will help you be do and have a happier existence okay cuz i understand we all go through ups and downs and most of the experiences we encounter either make us or break us and we can either learn from them or just succumb to the uncertainty that lies around us cuz that choice is yours my friend okay on the contrary okay we're working with over 450 businesses every single day so we're seeing success being produced at a grander scale they're not televising this stuff um you know so you can maybe watch it uh while you're netflixing and chilling no 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 you know success is just up there and um you know people that are being successful are also viewing life with a different lens and maybe you haven't been doing that for yourself because for successful people every day is a new challenge and life is a risk and they welcome it with open arms so you're probably sitting there jaded and you're thinking how can i do this how can i how can i let me tell you something man successful people sell, uh, are, are hardly afraid and they never look back and they never wallow in their fear or in their pain the only thing that matters to them is that their own success and hard work is going to pay off one day and they're willing to give it a 100% fair go or 100% fair chance of making that happen so let me tell you something man your success depends on the kind of person that you wish to be because around 80% of the people who fail they actually let me tell you something they actually achieve their goals only because they're aiming too low and they're hitting all right no one is 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 failing to achieve their goals they are achieving whatever mediocre goals that they put out for themselves so you want to make sure that you have a clear vision of where you want to go you have full purpose and you've got full motivation so that you can uh, fuel your journey um for being doing and having um a business that's profitable and enjoyable because purpose is one thread in the journey of life that actually makes us more of who we are and it makes us discover our true self so that purpose is going to pull you through times like what we've just went through um you know the hardest time in entrepreneurial history and it makes us push to our limits and tells us never to give up so a lot of notable people in any field that you can come through uh in any innovation or authors consultants or other coaches um you know they and and i'm also going to be saying this your idea of success is what we're talking about here so however you define success to you is how we want you to achieve it you know um but you got to have a few habits and discipline that you follow in order for you to actually uh maintain momentum in order for you to be do and have that success that you want and it's very important for you to learn what that is for you and what that looks like and once you do create systems and processes and have people tools and experiences that will constantly be reminding you of um where you're headed and that's the reason why you need to subscribe to podcasts like this because it's just like a little constant reminder every single time that takes you out of the funk um that you might be putting yourself in and um you know because we're putting out a, a, an episode every single day at 12 p.m. okay so it's important to learn from the best and um most of these people have shared their experiences and learnings for better tomorrow and some of these leaders would actually help you notice what to do and what not to do there's people like jk rolling and people as successful as oprah um you know that have made it uh despite whatever they were going through so you might be going through stuff right now you might be going through um you know 
strive or whatever it is, use that as fuel because if you're paying attention to the problems you're going through right now, that will now become a good story to tell um, on the day when you become successful because people don't want to just know that you did X, Y, and Z and then you, and then you became an overnight success. No, people want to go through the journey that you went through. So you want to be paying attention to what you're going through right now because there's... um. I think, um, you know, I mentioned J.K. Rowling, so we might as well just go with her. The famous Harry Potter series writer, she actually had a rough childhood growing up. If you uh, have listened to any of her stories, I have not read any of the Harry Potter books, but I, um, I pay attention to people that are commanding attention, you know, and I listen to the stories of how she came to be because... She never thought that she could make it into the Hall of Fame. Because if you're going through stuff right now, you know, if you're going through hell, you got to keep going because why do you want to just stay there? Why do you want to stay in hell? You want to go and see, um, you know, what it is that you are fighting for, okay? Because and with JK, her perseverance and determination made her to write one of the most loved books uh, in the history of writing. And she says it's all about who you want to become. So where she was was temporary. It's not where she wanted to be, you know, and she knew that. Um, and and um, failure can only make you realize that life comes from you know, with surprises. So you want to open your life uh, with all the love that you can um, fit into your hands, okay? You see, I'm the founder of um, a digital agency called Live Long Digital, where we help businesses explode um, in growth using digital marketing. And I'm really passionate about helping coaches, consultants, and small business owners grow their business. Because let me tell you something, I know what it's like to come, to come from nothing. You see, I was born in a small town uh, in, in Zimbabwe, in Africa, where growing up, life was pretty tough. You know, I didn't have a lot of money like maybe you would had growing up. And I, you know, I had no hope, especially and no role models. OK, we had no one to look up to because the people that were around us were already living in squalor. And that's what they thought they were going to amount to. Up until my life changed at the age 13, when a bright-eyed um, Australian teacher came to work at my school, and she taught me about Australia and the incredible opportunities that it had to offer. And it actually taught me that there were um, there was a whole other world outside of my own small town, a whole world full of infinite possibilities for people who dream big and had the courage to actually follow those dreams. Now, for the rest of my time in school, I worked my butt off to learn as much as I could. Um, and a few years later, I ended up in Australia, and the rest is history. You know, it's not just stories like this. There's people like Oprah Winfrey, you know, having endured the pangs of suffering, you know, pain and agony and distress. Now she's one of the richest women in the world. You know, she's emerged as one of the leading ladies in the world with her talk show and inspiration. And she's inspired everyone around the world to turn their, um, you know, lives upside upside down and, 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 and you know, and, and believe in the beauty of their dreams. And she has successfully launched, I think, her channel called OWN, Oprah Winfrey Network. And it now inspires millions to never give up and keep going no matter what happens. What Oprah did was she turned her life story and um, showed up in people's lives every single day and she made millions of men and women into her friends, right? Because people followed her journey, right? So like the famous author Brian Tracy, who's beautifully summed up uh, the habits of successful people, you know, some people tend to make it a habit to follow what's right. So right now, if you continuously listen to our podcast, um, you will definitely um, figure out the reason why I've got so much passion in in my blood and the reason why I really want you to be successful because I know that no matter where you're coming from, no matter who you are, you too can be, do, and have a happier existence, right? And you just want to be passionate about what you do and 
take whatever you're doing to some great lengths, okay? Because what I know is if you take action, if you're goal orientated and you look at the results that you absolutely want without, um, you know, following what other people around you want and you care about people like what Oprah did, um, you know, helping other people turn their lives around and you're looking, um, you know, after your health because you can't do well if you don't feel well. All right. And you have a few disciplines that you're following, because if you follow one course until successful, guess what? You will be doing have a happier existence. And while you're doing that, tell your story and be honest about where you are and where you absolutely where where you want to go, because the universe is always listening and it's conniving to get you all the people, circumstances and situations that will avail you with that which you want. Okay, so it's all about what you dream of and how you're going to work towards that with all the gusto that you uh, built along the way. I think it was Lewis Howes that said, I have learned that champions aren't just born. Champions can be made. And when they embrace and commit to a life of uh, positive habits, they too can be, do and have whatever that they are hoping to achieve. Okay, so just look at where you are right now and know that where you are is temporary. Because after arriving in Australia, I just threw myself in a new line of work that I'd never experienced. And how I got to where I am is I just started reading everything that would help me um, understand what to do and who to become. All right, so there's, there's a few things that I'm just going to mention here. Um, that would help you on your journey to become successful. And by success, I'm actually talking about your own definition of the word for it. Okay. You want to become the best at what you're doing. All right. No matter what you're going to do, consistency and discipline are going to be the keys to um, your successful and prosperous future. And when we are determined, we do not let anything come in the way of achieving our goals. So your continuous improvement and practice is what makes um, you become successful. And that's how successful people become the best at what they do. They constantly focus on that one particular thing. All right. Because it's like you're trying to cut down a tree. If you hit a tree in 1000 different places in the leaves, in the roots, in the trunk or in the branches, you're not going to put that tree down. But if you hit it consistently in one place a thousand times, guess what? You'll have firewood. So you want to constantly improve yourself. You read stuff about, um, you know, you read stuff that matters. I was laughing the other day. Um, you know, um, um, I think it was, um, um, I can't remember who it was that was talking and he's like, um, you are scrolling on Instagram and all you're doing is watching fights on Instagram. Instead of using that time to read and learn stuff that actually matters, stuff that you're going to um, use later on in your life, man. Never shy away from learning new things because this is one of the ingredients for you to be do and have a happier existence you see i show up every single day like i was saying on this podcast if i only knew what i knew i wouldn't be able to sit here for 30 minutes each and every day um you know giving out value because i'm learning consistently and whatever i learn this is the stuff that i'm actually giving out so now you know my secret it's not that i already know all these things that i'm saying every single day in my podcast but i'm reading every day consistently and whatever i've read i then put it out there um on my podcast so that i can give value to people so this is what you can also do um you know and and one thing that would happen along your journey uh to success is Whatever you're learning, you know, don't feel like you have to be perfect or fall prey to the value or the opinion of others. You know, I think someone once told me that if people are not laughing at you, your dreams are too small. So every time you show up and tell people, hey, I'm going to do this and people be like, yeah, no, oh, OK, yeah. So and so has done it. You know, then you should think to yourself, wait a minute, I'm thinking too small. 
you know when um covid hit in australia and we couldn't travel anywhere and you had to be jabbed and all that crazy story that happened um you know during that time you know what i started thinking of actually doing i started thinking of learning how to fly you know because if i can fly then i can take my girls on a weekend without having to go through the red tape of the airport and everything else and then i started looking at how much planes actually cost and you'd be surprised look it up right now on plane sales australia or wherever you are in the world right now there are planes that cost about fifty thousand dollars or 60 or 80 or 120 or you know you know reasonable prices and when i started showing people these um ideas and these planes they were like oh wow wait a minute i didn't even think this was possible but nah you can't do this it's crazy you know where are you gonna park the plane and who's gonna look after it oh my god maintenance yeah 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 and then i knew wait a minute i'm actually onto something really big here because people haven't actually considered owning their own plane let alone learning how to fly it and um you know utilizing it and then i realized wait a minute you can actually own the plane you can lease it out to other people that want to uh, you know, learn how to fly it. And that now actually pays itself off. You know, I've got friends who've got $200,000 Ram cars or, um, you know, cars that are way more expensive than my house right now. You know, because people who set out to do something different are most often ridic ridiculed or criticized. And the choice that they have is to listen to others and let them control what um, they do all oh, simply move on and focus on your goals because successful people focus on their goals. They don't care what Sally thinks about what they're going through. What the world thinks is none of your business. People are always going to talk anyway. So just you might as well give them something to talk about, you know, and at the end of the day, if people are not talking about you, then you literally don't exist in their space. And if you don't exist in people's space and they're not talking about you at a barbecue, then how are they going to know about your story? Okay? Because I believe we're here to live, to learn, and to contribute. So for you to live your best life, which is obviously why you started this business, you got to learn. And you only learn from other people's experience or you learn from your own experience. But I don't think you'll be able to do everything in order for you to learn just about everything. Because we're all going to encounter different kinds of situations in our lives. And some of us, um, you know, might choose to fight while others use the flight option. I mean, obviously, I was talking about flying earlier on, but I'm talking about the fight or flight scenario that we're always faced with in our uh, lives. And let me tell you something. People who are made for success always fight their way through. There's always a solution. All right, look at this. If you are ever faced with a predicament, what that means is you haven't paid enough attention to what is actually happening in your life at that particular moment. All right, you haven't read all the books, you haven't um, connected with the right people, or you haven't connected with the um, solutions that you need to in order to be, do, and have a happier existence. All right, so if you are to learn how to get past certain things you know you want to learn from either your mistakes or other people's mistakes because success leaves clues okay so you don't want to stress about your past look for the lessons in there and quickly move on that's what makes us uh stay on top that's what makes us keeps us going in order to achieve our success let me tell you something man successful people aren't born or made they create their own destiny all right, there's always, um, it's always said that people who are successful are born with a silver spoon. That's so far from the truth. I told you my story about how I came to be from Africa, you know, with nothing but a backpack full of hopes and dreams, emerging from hardships and gathering the courage to pursue uh, the best in life. Man, that's what people want to talk about. You know, and I'm reading inspiration and I'm motivating others to be, do, and have a happier existence. It's all about finding new ways to live and just never giving up. Because life will always come with its own challenges and opportunities. And we only learn to live with them. Okay? So figure out what habits are you creating? What are you doing in order to 
be closer to your goals. And I want to ask you this question. What do you think is the one habit that actually contributes to your success for your future? All right. I want you to, you know, take stock of what you're doing right now uh, in your business, in your work, in your life, in your relationships, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. It's, it's your turn to be successful um, this year. And I want you to actually grow this business into something that is remarkable and something that you can actually enjoy consistently okay i don't want you to keep spending most of your days working in an isolated room or in front of a computer not knowing um what your next move is going to be i don't want you to spend the last moments on your pillow every single night worried about uh, how you're going to get clients i don't want you to keep feeling the pinch of the raising ad costs out there and i don't want you to worry about the next lockdown i don't want you to even worry about losing your clients because you're afraid everything is going to be closed and you're not going to be available um you know to help them be do and have you know what i want for you i want you to start having monthly recurring cash flow and it doesn't even require you to show up every single day i want you to actually have time and freedom together not either or Right, And I want that every client that you speak to is already pre-sold before you've even got out on the phone with you. And I want that every um, thing that you touch turns into gold. Okay, So you too can be, do, and have a happier existence. And I know that um, you know, you're, you're born uh, to just learn a few things in order for you to actually um, start enjoying all these benefits. Because if anyone can do this you too can because you deserve a successful business that's profitable and enjoyable and i've got one question for you are you ready for your best year ever if you are get in touch let's see um how we can you know turn your business around in the next 90 days bye for now thank you for joining us today if you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the Live Long Digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.